Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to just get ready and do kind of like a fall inspired look. I've been really inspired by all of the fall decor that I've seen out and the fall drinks. So I just, I want a red lip, warm eyes. Look, I went to the Dollar Tree and I found fall decor, three bucks, you can't beat it. So yeah, if you wanna get ready with me, um, I have some new stuff to try, but I also shopped my stash for a lot of these products. The majority are not new to me, I just felt like using them. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. This video is very kindly sponsored by Florisys and I'm really excited because Florisys is a brand that you guys recommended to me. You're the reason that I've even heard of them in the first place. And if you guys don't know, I am half Chinese. So in a video in the past, I was talking about what Chinese makeup brands do I need to try and what's the most luxurious and has the prettiest packaging, prettiest embossments. And a huge number of you guys actually suggested that I looked in to florists. So I went on their Instagram, absolutely fell in love with their pieces. They look so detailed and intricate and beautiful. And at the time that I looked it up, I did not know how to get it shipped to me. I couldn't find a way that I could order their products into the US. And florists actually reached out to me. And now if you're in the US, you are able to receive their products. They ship internationally now. They have a website that's in English. So I'm really excited to work with them on today's video because I've I've been absolutely dying to try out their products. They are so beautiful. They were kind enough to just send me a few pieces, but I'm looking at their website and I'm very tempted to order more because they have so many beautiful options on their website. Now, like I said, Florisys is a Chinese makeup brand. Within their products, they are committed to inherit and promote traditional Chinese culture. Like I said, beautiful Chinese packaging and embossments that these all have are so beautiful to me. I named Florisys is actually a combination of the word flower and sister. And I'm gonna read this directly off their website because I can't say this better myself. But Florisys explores wisdoms in traditional beauty rituals, inherits the philosophy of Chinese aesthetics, and adapts modern technologies in creating their cosmetic products, which feature nourishment, from flower and natural essences, unity of makeup and skincare, which is very big in Asian beauty, and promotion of both inner and outer beauty and excellence of craftsmanship. And the craftsmanship you guys will see in this video, oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to link in the description box, the website of course for you to shop the products, but as well as the About Us page, because I've never seen a About Us page like this. You get to see the people behind the brand, the craftsmen behind the brand inspiration. I really enjoyed reading everything on this page. It's really neat. Some of the products that you're going to see sprinkled in today's video, of course, the eyeshadow palette. This is what inspired this fall video because I think the fall colors look absolutely stunning. I also have their silk powder to try and the red lipsticks are going to be these beautiful lipsticks. So, Let's get into the video. Pull our hair back. Like I said, I shopped my stash today for a lot of the products. So we're gonna start off with primer. I used this for the first time in a while yesterday and I was like, this is really good. This is the Fenty Hydrating Primer. This reminds me a lot of the Gucci Silk Primer that I really, really love. This one is just a lot cheaper and it's still high end, but the Gucci is so expensive. So this is a really great alternative if you don't wanna spend the Gucci price, but ugh, I just love the way that both the Gucci and this Fenty make my skin feel. It's so hydrating, but also makes the skin feel so silky. I love it so much. Back into using this now. <laughs> foundation, I hemmed and hawed at what foundation I wanted to use, what I haven't used in a while, and I settled on the Guerlain Lysential Natural Glow Foundation. I love this foundation, and I think it's a really great fall appropriate foundation. I would say it's a great transitional foundation because it does have a nice glow to it, but it still gives a good amount of coverage and it can be matted down with a little bit of powder. I just think it's a great in between you know, not too matte, but still glowy, still giving your skin some life. I'm just using this e.l.f. sponge that I've been using. We're gonna spread her out. You see how beautiful that looks on the skin? I love this foundation. It's one of my absolute favorites. This one, and they have a matte version as well. They both are 
phenomenal foundations. For eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Gucci High Precision Natural Finish Eyebrow Pen. I have mine in the shade Brune. I think this is a little bit darker than what I prefer for my eyebrows, but it's fine. This isn't my favorite eyebrow pencil in the world. It's nice, definitely does the job, but I think it deposits too much color. <laughs> like I have to use the lightest hand possible to get the shade of strokes that I like. I gotta move my mirror closer for this one, so gonna get in camera. Yeah, you guys, I am very excited for fall. Probably is gonna be my last cold fall for a while because Jose and I are probably going to move to Florida early next year is what we're thinking. I don't know at this point, but we're gonna be in Florida next year. That's the plan. And <laughs> I'm sad. I like fall. It's, I don't know. It's my, the thing is I much prefer spring more of a spring kind of person because it's brighter out, but I'm always just excited for a change from the hot, hot summer, which is funny because I'm moving to Florida, but <laughs> I like the smell of fall. I think it just smells really good, and I've wanted to take Jose to a pumpkin patch for years because it's such an American thing, and our schedules haven't lined up so that he's ever really been able to go, and this is going to be the first year that I can take him to a pumpkin patch. It's the simple things, but I feel like it can't get more fall than that. Okay, and that's as good as eyebrows are going to be today. I need to sit down and really focus on my brows one day. Um, one of the eyebrow gels that I've been obsessed with lately is the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. I still don't like feather brows, okay? It's not for me. I don't have the eyebrow thickness for it, but I do like the look of kind of making them look a bit fluffier, you know? I mean, I don't want my eyebrows pointing all the way up to space by any means. Not my style. I also just don't have the thickness in my eyebrows to be able to make it look okay. But a little bit of unruliness I really like. And this gel has done an amazing job of keeping it unruly looking, but you know, it's still where you placed it. So I've been loving this eyebrow gel lately. It's awesome. It makes my brows look thicker because of the way the spoolie is. Can you see that? My eyebrows are like barely related. I'm aware. That's the way it's gotta be. Okay, concealer. I pulled out the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate concealer that just came out. Listen, I'm not saying you need to get this concealer because it's $90. That's why I'm using this concealer because I paid $90 for it. But price aside, quality wise, this is my favorite concealer that I've tried lately. I've tried the ABH, the one size, and this one, and all three are really good concealers. The Tom Ford, performance wise, is the best. But I do think I recommend the ABH the most because it's $30 as opposed to $90. While it doesn't outperform the Tom Ford, it certainly does not justify $60 price difference, if that makes sense. So the ABH is super duper good. But I can't deny, I love this concealer and it's my favorite of the three and I have it so I'm gonna use it and I pay $90 for it so I'm definitely still gonna use it. I love this concealer if you have the money it's really really nice. So for setting powder I'm really excited about this because this is really unique from my swatch. This is from Florisys. This is called the Gorgeous Peach Blossom Silk Powder. So it comes in a box that looks like this. Really beautiful intricate details on the box. A lot of it's in Chinese so I might be half Chinese I don't I can't read Chinese I can't speak Chinese <laughs> but here is the compact itself really pretty and then here is the back and I was very confused when I first opened this because the powder is literally so silky I thought it looked like paper <laughs> I thought it had a paper overlay but this is the powder like you can see on my fingers <gasps> oh okay let me put it on my face I've been absolutely dying to try this. It looks like this is going to be around $51 from what I can see on the website. Let's take a look. Now you don't really get much kickback and it adds a slight glow to the face. I want to show you the difference on both sides and it feels so silky and I feel like that silkiness is translating very well on the skin. It's extremely lightweight. You can't feel anything at all. I think it's impossible to apply too much of this. It's like an invisible powder. Wow. 
really nice. That's so cool. So it doesn't disrupt the foundation underneath at all. So I feel like if you have a really glowy product on your skin and you want to set it, but you still want to keep that glow, this would be a nice powder for that. Feels very, very high end, but I think what I like about this is that it's not disrupting the skin at all and what's underneath. Just a completely weightless powder. Very cool. I do not have a powder like this in my collection. That's really neat. For bronzer, I picked out the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in oops, in light medium. I haven't used this too much since I bought it. It's a semi-new product. It came out within the last two months, but it's not super recent. I loved it the tones in this collection. just think they're so good. Like, look at that. I think formula-wise, this isn't my favorite bronzer in the world, but tone-wise, it's what's giving it a fighting chance, you know? And it's still a really nice formula. I think Mario did a really great job with this sculpt collection. He came out with colors that really just make sense. So I hadn't used this bronzer in a while, so I wanted to use this. And for blush, I dug into my favorite Pat McGrath blush, and this is the one that I recommend the most for fall. This for me is the ideal fall blush. This is in the shade Desert Orchid. It's honestly probably my most used Pat McGrath blush. It's my favorite. But this is just like a light orange blush, uh, but it's not, you know, super garish orange and it has a gold shift to it. It's really beautiful for the fall. And the formula of these are so good. When I first reviewed these, I was like, ah, I mean, it's an expensive blush and there are so many great blushes out there at a much more affordable price point. But at the end of the day, this formula, it's stunning. It's such an easy formula to grab for. It deposits the perfect amount of color. And this color in particular, I love it. Perfect fall blush. Definitely a number one recommendation for me for the fall season. Of course, you can wear whatever you want during whatever season, but this really gives me those fall vibes. Before I choose my highlight color, let's go into eyeshadow. And this is what I was dying to pick up from Florisys when I first saw the brand, but I like couldn't figure out how to get it shipped to me. So I'm so ecstatic to be able to finally try it. And I'm looking at their website. They have this other eyeshadow palette that I really want to try. But this is called the Florisys. Floral Engraving Phoenix Makeup Palette. It's $67. Here is the box that it comes in. I'm gonna open it and then you'll get the palette. Now, and here's what the palette looks like. It has the same packaging as the powder. And then here is what the back looks like. And this is the selling point of Florisys to me. Now, this I've swatched, so it's not as beautiful. It honestly hurt me to swatch this because it's so beautiful. I've never seen a more intricate embossment in an eyeshadow palette. I don't know, if you appreciate these kind of things, because I know there's a number of you guys who don't care. You just care how the product works. I'm such a packaging person. Like this, that's a selling point for me. This brand has the most beautiful eyeshadow presentation that I've ever seen. If you hear the squeaking, it's my chair. I should probably oil it or something. Okay, so I have swatched these. I haven't used these. So I'm going to create a look and then I'll be back to do it with you. So I'll be right back. So one thing that I went in mind with while I was playing with this eyeshadow palette is that it's an Asian brand and the Asian style of eyeshadows is different than what's popular in the US. It's not about pigment, but I have to say, very shocked. There's no really true, true mattes in here. The mattes had a very slight sheen, which I find to be extremely flattering for the eye, so I don't have a problem with that. Interesting textures here, very pretty. There was like almost a really metallic foiled shade right here, and then some shimmers. Uh, the only two shades that didn't swatch quite as well were the red. The red was one that didn't have a lot of pigment and then this is almost like blue black. It's a little bit softer, which I like and I'm gonna use it on camera. This one, I couldn't get to show up on a blending brush. It's really, really subtle. So you're gonna have to use this for a very subtle red eye. I didn't really use it for today's video, but let me just show you the pigmentation. First, I'm gonna start off with the cream shade. I love that there's a cream shade in here. I'm going to set underneath 
my brow bone like so very nice <laughs> i mean you can't go wrong with the cream shade and i'm gonna use this shade right here which if you look at this it's not matte but it's gonna work great as a crease color and look at this this has a good deal of pigmentation to it much more than i was expecting and it blends very very nicely so i'm quite impressed with this shade right here looks beautiful in the crease you can see it working itself out i mean 67 dollars. this is a very pricey palette but I mean the presentation it's so beautiful I'm gonna take some of that on a refer 14 brush and we are going to run this along the lower lash line and make sure we blend these edges out you go back into the cream shade that's also gonna help blend those edges out and then for a little bit of added definition I'm going in the shade right here this doesn't have the most pigmentation but it's just enough to add that depth in the outer corner which is really nice definitely a lot more pigmentation than I was expecting what a gorgeous fall look I'm excited for this then I'm going to dig into the gold shade right here I'm using a Sonia G builder brush and you do have to kind of go in with a couple layers to get the opacity that I'm looking for but you can use a wet brush or use your finger fingers probably the best option but I don't feel like putting my finger in a shadow right now but again definitely shocked with the opacity really beautiful and then this shade I want to put all over my lid it's kind of like a glittery shade but for now I'm just gonna put it in my inner corner but that's gonna be really stunning i'd love to see more of that formulation and i'm gonna take an olimar cosmetics brush i'm gonna go into this black now it's not like a typical black it doesn't have a ton of pigmentation to it and it has a bit of a blue turn to it but you see it's perfect for just adding that little touch of definition in the outer corner without it being too much so it's quite user friendly just for adding definition now if you're gonna put this all over the lid i don't think it would look that good but as far as just deepening it serves that that purpose well so I'm gonna blend this and I told you I was waiting to see what my eyeshadow looked like before I decided on my highlight I picked this up a couple months ago and I haven't used it too much since I got it so I figured we'd pull it in today this is the Huda Beauty light glow obsessions it's a mini face palette so we have four highlights here I think I'm gonna mix the bottom two shades because this is a little bit lighter, more champagne, and then I want some more of a gold element. And this palette's definitely not a need. It's kind of nondescript, but it's nice. And you have four different tones of highlights all in one little compact palette. Doesn't knock my socks out of the water, but it works. It's a decent highlight palette for sure. I don't dislike it. I'm going to use my Tom Ford eyeliner pen just to line my eyes. I guess that's what an eyeliner pen does, right? <laughs> Okay, I need to be quiet for this because concentration is needed. I'm going to use my current mascara that I'm using. I don't, I wouldn't call it a favorite, but it's a good mascara. This is the Patrick Tell Major Volume Mascara. I did just do a comparison between this and the new Rare Beauty, and this one I like a little bit better. They're both good, but um, a moment of silence for the ugly faces that you are about to witness. I've been wearing a lot more natural lashes lately. I put on a pair of Lily lashes in Miami. They're so big. Okay, let's move on to lips. I definitely want to do a red lip. So I'm gonna start off with my Wonder 2 lip liner and give me red. This is a really creamy lip liner. Okay, let's move on to the lipsticks. So one of the things I was most excited about from Florisys, besides the eyeshadow palette, were the lipsticks because the embossment 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 on these lipsticks so let's start off with the packaging the box that they're gonna come in is gonna look like these really really cute and then you open it and then the lipstick will come out so these are called the blooming rouge engraved lipsticks they are 33 dollars each and they come in this packaging so i got sent three different shades of red but let me show you the embossment so this one is m122 and i think they got a little bit melted in transit because they're all a little slanted but i want you to look at this embossment look at that detail gorgeous and this has a little bit of a shine to it and then let me show you the next one next one is m126 this one's a little bit brighter i think i might go brighter i don't know but take a look at the embossment on this one this one's a little bit different it has birds on it ah, i love it and then the last one that they sent was m409 this one is a little bit peachier 
up and this one also has birds on it. See, the tone in the red can make the biggest difference. So I like that they offer so many reds with different tones here. I think I'm gonna go with M409, let's see. Ugh, super creamy. You see it has that sheen to it. Very easy to apply, very smooth on the lips. It's a nice lipstick formula. I like it a lot. I like the shine to it, easy to apply. All right, I'm gonna get myself together and let you know my final thoughts on the look and the products. All right guys, so here's the final look, my first warm fall inspired look of the year. I really love how it turns out. Love red and gold together, love the red lips, love my crazy red <laughs> accessories here. Uh, so I had fun digging into some products that I hadn't used in a while. My skin looks fabulous, this blush is incredible. And a huge thank you to Florisys for being the sponsor of today's video. I had a lot of fun testing their products out. Kind of a final overview, the eyeshadow palette awesome love the look shades seem to work really nice i was impressed with the pigmentation honestly absolutely beautiful the uh, powder seems really nice very weightless if you're not a big powder person the lipstick super creamy really great variations in red colors and overall i'm very pleased with honestly everything that i used in today's video the lashes are a little out of my comfort zone at this point but everything worked great together when you pair a bunch of random products together sometimes it doesn't turn always turn turn out the greatest so I'm happy with today so make sure you guys check out Florisys I will have my link down below for you guys to check out their website even if you don't want to buy anything just look because their products are so beautiful I didn't know makeup could be so pretty and that's all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so I will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one